Hi, I'm Sandra Starks, half of Serious Magic, an L.A. band. The other half of Serious Magic is Dennis Kilman, a serious guitarist, songwriter, arranger, and producer. Dennis and I have performed together for many types of events in many venues over the last 20 years. From clubs and restaurants to weddings and holiday parties, we've played songs from several genres for several generations. We can offer a smooth mix of jazz, R&B, and standards for an easy listening event, or we can rock the house when people want to party and dance. For our senior friends, we'll pull out the oldies. And for our special friends, like those who attend the annual holiday party sponsored by the Down Syndrome Association of LA, we play the tried and true favorites and make sure everybody has a wholesome, fun time. Here's a bit of information about us. Dennis began his music career by picking up a ukulele and teaching himself a song when he was a boy. He began playing guitar professionally at age 13 and was a member of the Versatiles, a local LA band that performed regularly while still in junior high. He and his brother Bob played together in one of the most popular bands at their high school. Dennis moved on to other local bands like Santa Monica Freeway, a band that featured a young singer named Randy Crawford who later recorded the hit Street Life. Then came the siren song of the big time. Dennis was hired by many major artists to accompany them on their tours. From Washington, D.C.'s Kennedy Center to the Monterey Jazz Festival, he worked with such greats as Nancy Wilson, the Pointer Sisters, and Lou Rawls, honing his music skills in the areas of R&B, jazz, pop, and blues. On TV, in videos, and on stage, from Canal Street in New Orleans to Carnegie Hall, Dennis was a featured soloist. On the road, he heard many of his heroes who shared the bill with the artist with whom Dennis was performing. Albert King, B.B. King, and Ray Charles are just a few who gave him nightly lessons in the blues. Maybe that's why Dennis was Smokey Robinson's choice for rhythm guitar and guitar solos in Smokey's Vegas act. Dennis also composes and arranges music. His songs have been recorded by Smokey and jazz stylist Deborah Laws. His compositions have been heard in over 20 feature films, Las Vegas shows, and on his CD, What's the Delio, which by the way is available for online purchase at www.denniskillman.com and many other online music stores. Me, well, I was lucky to be born into two families of talented musicians. My mom's mother played organ and piano at church and insisted that all her girls learn an instrument which is why my mom, my daughter, and I have all studied violin. My dad's father owned a business and played guitar professionally on the side. My father grew up in St. Louis, Missouri and began playing trumpet professionally at 13. He moved to Canada and made history by becoming the first black leader of an otherwise all-white big band in the 1930s, where his band was known as the best in the West in Canada and had been featured on Canada's national radio network. Dad came back to St. Louis and worked on the river boats, worked with his brother Thomas, a saxophone player. Both of them are in the St. Louis Hall of Fame. My music education began early. By age five, I'd studied and performed as a vocalist, dancer, and pianist. Guitar and violin lessons followed. At 13, I was the youngest vocal student accepted by an expert music educator, W.D. Walton. Mr. Walton had trained renowned performers such as Bobby McFerrin's father, who was the first African-American male to sing at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. He also trained Robert Guillaume, star of TV shows Soap and Benson, and of Broadway and the Silver Screen. I moved from St. Louis to California and began attending UCLA while still in high school as part of a special program for gifted students. Then I was named a Presidential Scholar and traveled to Washington, D.C. to the White House to receive a bronze medallion from President Johnson. I began to sing locally as a solo artist and in pop groups while I studied my craft and the business of music at Phil Moore's studios. Phil was my mentor as he had been for many great artists like Lena Horne and Dorothy Dandridge, Diane Reeves. I sharpened my skills by singing on the albums of and touring with major artists until I met Dennis when we both worked with Lou Rawls. I sang duets with Lou and did background work. Eventually, my efforts resulted in production deals, both as an artist and writer with Barry White and with Earth, Wind & Fire's Maurice White. I had the opportunity to travel internationally and perform on TV as well as on stage, even performing for President and Mrs. Reagan. 
Dennis and I have entertained on most of the world's continents, and we've experienced the universal appeal of music. We'd love to share our music with you. 